Hey guys, it's Emmanuel, your body code practitioner out here in Las Vegas. Just wanted to do a really quick video in regards to entities. And now I know you guys have been waiting for this one. This one came out, I think I posted about 10 days ago, 7 days ago. And I just got back from Sedona, so I think I'm more clear-minded on what I have to talk about. But uh, I wanted to kind of mention to you that, uh, you know, I do this energy healing work with body code and emotion code. And something that I've noticed when I um, work with people is that sometimes their depression or they're having issues, trouble, trouble moving forward in life, or perhaps they um, have pain in their body can be coming from actual entities. And most people, um, I always consider two things. There's kind of like the front door testimony, and there's the back door testimony. So the front door testimony is that I believe there's a God. I believe there's something higher up there. I believe there's a creator. And uh, you have your own beliefs, obviously, but um, you know I believe he's a heavenly father. That's my personal belief. Uh, but the thing is, is there's like, you know, through prayer, through scripture study, through different things, you could actually know that there is a God. But also the backdoor testimony would be if you've dealt with entities or disembodied spirits or evil spirits, which hopefully would make you get the conclusion that if they exist, then then what's the good side of this uh, world that I can't see? What's the good side of the unseen world? And then that would hopefully lead you to the idea that maybe there is a God out there or a creator. So when I work with people, I mean, I work with all types of people, atheists, people, people who don't believe uh, in a higher source or people who don't believe, uh, and there's people that believe in a higher source, but they call it something different. And the main thing is, let's get to the root of like maybe what may, may be causing you depression or trouble moving forward in life. And um, let's just be open-minded. Again, like uh, T. Harbecker said, he says, you can either be rich or right, but you can't be both. So what if you took a chance and took a uh, kind of a, a leap of faith to say, what if um, an entity is connected to me? And what if it is holding me back in my life? What, what does it hurt to believe in that? Well, the only way to really prove that would be if I muscle test it and I find it out and then I go, hey, look, you have this entity. I even give you what age this entity was um, latched onto you. There's, there's kind of like two different things they could do. Uh, in the body code, it talks about it where either they're connected to you, like they're latched to you, or they're just around you. And so um, usually when I see them or I, I notice them, muscle testing wise is that they're attached to this client. And uh, let's say like I worked on their heart wall, I removed all their trauma from their heart. All of a sudden they still feel depression, but let's say depression went down, I don't know, maybe like 60%. So it went down like from a, from a nine and let's say it went down, you know, like now to 30%. So the question is, what is, what is that little lingering 30%? Is there something that they don't know they don't know? And um, I don't look for entities. I just go, hey, is there anything else that may be causing you depression? And then I go through the body code chart to find something, and sometimes I find an entity. And so what I wanted to tell you guys is, what are the two main common energies that may be attracting these entities? And other practitioners might have experience, maybe similar experiences to what I uh, find. But Dr. Brad said it's very, very important to uh, look at the underlying imbalances. Or what I mean by that is, what are the energies that are attracting these entities in the first place? And one of the two common energies that I do find is, number one is um, no will to live. Okay, so no will to live. And, and in the old body code chart, it shows a lady who is uh, kind of crying and she just looks very overwhelmed. No will to live is, um, has to do with feeling very overwhelmed. And you kind of wanting to sort of, you know, check out. You don't want to be here anymore. Just for a moment. It doesn't mean you're suicidal. It just means I feel so overwhelmed. Just get me out of here. And then boom. It's almost like your spirit wants to leave. And so what's interesting is that for some strange reason, I find a lot of those when I'm working with clients that the entities are going, oh, you don't want to be here, do you? Well, if I make you very depressed and I make it very hard for you to move forward in life and I give you pain in your body you might want to actually not be here anymore. You might want to take your life. Then the dark side wins. You see, so to say this sadly is that they like to kick a horse while it's down. They like to take you when, when, you're, uh, when you're not feeling well about yourself and maybe you don't want to be here. And if you start stacking those no will to live energies, no will to live energies, the sad part about it is, is that it can give you depression, uh, trouble moving forward in life, and it can give you problems with your legs and feet. You have no idea how many clients that I meet with that they have issues with their knees, with their legs. Their body is actually manifesting from these no will to live energies. Almost like, picture this, I don't want to be here anymore. So now you're dragging your feet. Your body actually starts having issues with your legs 
the knees and, and feet. And so I find those and all of a sudden they're walking around within 10 or 15 minutes saying, well, for some reason I can walk better now or my knees don't hurt as much. Um, and so there's no will to live uh, energies, which again, it feels overwhelmed and you just want to check out. And sometimes you might have one, two or three different times where you feel that, but you think in your mind, well, I'm over this situation, so I don't feel that anymore. But uh, the, the energy still gets stuck in your body, which again, causes depression, trouble moving forward, and also uh, could give you issues with your legs and feet. Then there's the um, you know will to die energy. It's very similar. They sound very similar, but there's this little distinct difference. Will to die energy has to do with self-abuse. How many of you guys have, have ever extremely self-abused yourself? And I'm not talking about cutting. I'm talking about just being super hard and something like, man, I can't believe I did that. Why did I break up with him again and blah, blah, blah. I'm so, you know, and you're just being hard on yourself. There's a moment where you're just like, gosh, is there any way I can just get out of my head? I don't want to be in my head anymore. That technically can create a will to die energy. What does that give you? It gives you depression and sometimes even suicide ideation, you know? And so um, you want to be careful to like feel that. Maybe like, oh, man, I'm just, you're, if, you, if you've noticed yourself that you're beating yourself up a lot, you may want to like start writing down a list of things that you're grateful for and be like, you know, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for this. Yes, this is a bad situation. Yes, I messed up. But tomorrow's another day. And let me write some grateful things that I'm grateful for. That'll probably snap that uh, kind of state that you're in. So you don't create an actual energy in your body that makes you just want to, you know, just, uh, you know, self-abuse you more or suicide ideation or create depression. And so both of those energies are highly attractive from what I've noticed in my practice in three years that they attract these entities. Think about it. They're like, hmm, beating yourself up a lot. Don't want to be here, do you? Oh, feel very overwhelmed, do you? You don't want to be here. Let's attach ourselves to this one. In fact, let me grab my friend who's also an entity and let's make it worse for her. Like, let's double the energy on her. And then all of a sudden, that now whatever depression they feel or trouble moving forward, it almost like quadruples uh, or doubles due to these uh, energies or these um, entities that want to stick to you. So that's kind of the war that we're dealing with right now. And so I have noticed huge significant changes once you release these no will to live energies and will to die, but even bigger changes when you release these entities that are attached to you. So do I believe in entities? Of course I do. Even before the body code or the emotion code work, um, I've noticed, um, I've had manifestations, I've seen things, I've experienced things where I know these, these uh, exist. And you know, where there's evil, there's good. So you see, so a lot of people say, oh, this is an evil world. Great. And you probably do believe in a God because obviously there can't be, there's, there's, there's a yin and yang with, with, with everything, a yin and yang with everything. So there's, there's the positive, there's the negative, there's duality in everything in our life. So if you, if you believe in evil in the world, then where is the good? Then, and who is the author of the good? You know, and there is an author, but we have to know that the body code is a way for us to assist people to help them to see what they don't know they don't know. So hopefully this kind of helps you to be like, hmm, I wonder... I wonder if I don't want to be attacked by entities, what are two energies that I shouldn't feel? One is beat yourself up that you don't want to be here anymore and beat yourself up so much that you just, you feel overwhelmed or you feel very overwhelmed and you want to get out of here. If you ever get to those situations, beat yourself up or feeling overwhelmed, find a way to snap yourself out of it and be like, okay, you know what, what am I grateful for? That usually snaps with, or call a good friend or um, you know, there's just some, like something that you know that makes you happy instantly or makes you kind of forget that you're dealing with something just because you don't want to stay too long in there because any second boom you'll create that energy and then again if you recruit if you start stacking those it's only time before an entity says you know what this is a person that is going through hard times let's attach ourselves to her and make everything worse for her so hopefully this is a great warning for all those people out there that you know if you're dealing with depression you might be dealing with an entity attached to you but that's not where it started. There's always something they're attracted to you about you. And in the future, after we release it, let's not create those energies again. So again, I don't mean to scare anybody out there about these entities, but they do exist. And the thing is, is we're more powerful than them. If you believe in the Savior and uh, Jesus Christ, then obviously the Savior was, um, you know, has a way to cast them out, which just by his word. Uh, at some point, uh, we won't need to use the emotion code uh, to cast them out. And in fact, there's a lot of very spiritual people that cast them out. I think the only difference is that in the body code, they say, hey, make sure you release the energies that attracted them in the first place. Um, but um, like I said, I, I think the uh, Savior and the Lord has way, way more power over evil and darkness and that we shouldn't be afraid. We should just confront these things, confront our demons, if you will, 
and just get them out of our lives. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, pass this to someone that you know maybe might be dealing with depression. They might have either these no will to live, will to die energies. This alone can give you depression. Then on top of that, if they have an entity attached, then it's going to cause some severe depression. So hopefully you can send this to someone, tag someone, let them know that these things exist. They're in the body code. I've seen a lot of success releasing those energies or those entities. And uh, let's get the word out. So with that, hopefully you guys have an amazing day. I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.